Hello and welcome to Joy News at 6. The news is live on Joy 99.7 and hits 103.9 FM in Accra. In Kumasi on Love 99.5 FM and over 30 affiliates across Ghana's 16 regions including ATL FM, Cape Coast, Might FM, Tamalik, Bewa Radio, Yendi and in Kaligi FM, Bali. Get radio, TV and online content on the MyJoyOnline.com interactive app for Android and iOS devices. Coming up, Education Committee in Parliament considers inviting the National Teaching Council and other stakeholders to probe what is accounting for the mass failures in the Ghana teacher licensure examinations. In all of this, we have also expended much scarce national resources to get these persons trained as teachers. Also, Attorney General insists criminal trial of James Jajikwesin must continue despite the Asinot by-election being barely a week away. The court properly exercised discretion in granting adjournment on daily basis. And that's what we're going to maintain. We have details of that in business. Bank of Ghana projects inflation to gradually trend downwards but remain above the upper band of 8% plus or minus 2 until the end of 2025. Details on the Joy Business Report. And much later in the bulletin, love takes a back seat as St. Peter's Senior High School chooses the path of knowledge, breaking the hearts of their female affiliates St. Rose's Senior High School in a captivating clash of wits at the National Science and Math Quiz. Oh, you can so them. Yeah, so they ask you that you pray for us because you are coming. I am Mamie Sinyamiche Thompson. Details shortly. In our first story, there's a strong push in Parliament for the Education Committee to probe the mass failure of teachers in the licensure exams. The National Teaching Council has justified the exams, saying persons who fail the numeracy, literacy and professional knowledge-based assessment are not fit to get a license to be in the classroom. Dr. Christian Adaipoku is a registrar of the council. If a Ghanaian teacher now is going to teach in the UK, you don't need to write any exam or build any portfolio. You just go with your NTC licensure results or the license. Only four countries in Africa have that dispensation. Ghana, South Africa, Nigeria, Zimbabwe. It tells us that we are doing a great job. So we are setting standard that is not only applicable to Ghana, but also a global standard. And that means a Ghanaian teacher is a global brand Wherever you go, you can fit into the system. Well, Deputy Ranking Member on the Education Committee, Dr. Clement Apak, is however worried about the situation. This should be a wake-up call for those of us in the educational space. And I would speak to my colleagues in the leadership of the Parliamentary Subcommittee on Education to consider inviting the stakeholders for a sitting and, and a discussion for us to identify where the problem is is coming from because don't forget uh, that in all of this we have also expended much scarce national resources to get these persons trained as teachers and it is our hope that uh, they will be able to uh, render much needed services to the nation Dr. Clementa Park is Deputy Ranking Member on the Education Committee. The Office of the Attorney General insists the criminal trial of James Jachi Kwesin must continue despite the by-election being barely a week away. Residents of Asin North will vote on June 27, but the campaign of the NDC's candidate is being hampered by his trial, which is set to take place on a daily basis. The party's legal team is unhappy about the situation and will today urge the Accra High Court to put the case on hold. Our problem has been with the day-to-day hearing the daily hearings and we shall make a strong case for the matter to be adjourned beyond to the seventh. Don't forget that he's undertaking a national assignment and that's the national assignment the Attorney General doesn't understand. For the Attorney General, it must be Akufado inviting you to the flag staff house and giving you work. But he doesn't know the Constitution also imposes a national duty. And you had lawyer, director of legal affairs at the NDC, Abraham Amaliba. The office of the Attorney General disagrees. Alfred Triayabwa is deputy AG. It's not about he not being allowed to contest the elections. He has a right to contest. The state also has a right to hear cases pending in court. So it's going to be a position that the court properly exercise discretion in granting adjournment on daily basis. And that's what we're going to maintain. 
and scores of people have been displaced after fire gutted a nine-bedroom house at the Tafo Pankrono in Kumasi. Fire officers are yet to establish the cause of the inferno Tuesday evening. Lava firm's Nanabwachi Yadom was at the scene and now reports. The fire destroyed property running into thousands of cities as occupants had no time to salvage anything. The fire started from one room in the house and quickly spread to the other parts. A victim spoke to Joy News. Me, myself, I wasn't in. I went out. So on my way coming, I realized people were shouting, fire, the place is flaming, and I saw big smoke. So I just called the emergency, and they were not responding. So I called someone in Accra, Joy FM, that they should call the fire service at Accra for them to give them information that this place is burning. Me, myself, I don't know the area to give them direction. So it's people who directed them to come. Oh, it's almost two hours. You see, look at me. I don't even know where my slippers is and my bag. I went out, so I don't know what happened. So a lot, a lot, everything is burned. Lava Firm's Nanabwachi Yadam's report. Now, former Minority Chief Whip and MP Faswase, Montaka Mubarak, has disclosed he has strong presidential ambitions and will be seeking to succeed John Mahama as flag bearer when the time comes. Former President Mahama will have just one term as president if he wins the 2024 elections. The NDC will need a fresh face as its flag bearer. Montaka Mubarak says he intends to contest to lead the NDC. I have always told people, you see, you can't be a politician and say that, oh, for me, the, the top notes, I, I never want to dream about it. But it's not something that I'm going to kill somebody to become. Mm. But, but you dream to be a president? Why not? Because I've been a politician, I believe that I've served very well, I have all the credentials that it takes, I have distinguished myself in the best that I can, and I want to believe that if the opportunity avails it, so why not? I will. I will be a contender, and I will do that forcefully when the opportunity is But I'm not going to kill somebody or going to hurt somebody to, to, to do that, no. I'll do that when the opportunity is so. Montaka Mubarak is former minority chief whip. Now in Ghana, entry into many of the regional capitals, in most cases, a smooth drive with beautiful sights and scenery welcoming visitors. In the Upper East region, however, entry into the regional capital from the south can best be described as an excruciating and bone-shaking as enormous potholes have taken over the road right after the Bolgatanga Senior High School going towards Bolgatanga. Correspondent Albert Sorry has more in today's Ghana Potholes exhibition. Coming from the south into the Upper East Regional Capital, Bolgatanga, the drive is smooth for the most part. But then when you are about four kilometers away from entering the capital, the journey suddenly becomes very uncomfortable. This is the Bolgatanga Tamale Road and a stretch from immediately after the Bolgatanga Senior High School to the total filling station close to the Snit residential area. Large potholes, sometimes filled with rainwater, cover many parts of the stretch. The potholes are numerous and so scattered that at some points there is little road left for vehicles to use. According to some road users, vehicles frequently run into each other as a result. Two weeks ago, there was an accident over there. One soja man died just because one driver has left his side of the road and then passed his way and then he cleared him out and the soja man died. The road is so terrible, so bad. The middle of the road, there's sports holes. Every sideways, you cannot even drive. Albert Sorry's report. Now, love takes a back seat as St. Peter's Senior High School chooses the path of knowledge, breaking the hearts of their female affiliates, St. Rose's Senior High School, in a captivating clash of wits at the National Science and Math Quiz. With an impressive 24 gap between St. Peter's and the next school, their victory shines bright, yet it seems their love remains unscathed, transcending the realms of academic rivalry. Michael Ashale was there.
That's St. Rose's. Yeah. They have lost to their boys affiliates to St. Peter's Senior High School. They are so jubilant. They are so elated. Let me find out from them. Why are they still happy? But we're still ahead of them academically. But I mean, are you going to break your relationship with them? Oh, no. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We love them. 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 We It must be sad to beat your own girl's school in a contest like this. I mean, the goal was coming for them. We were expecting this. I mean, the boys weren't relating at all. We prepared hard. We know we were about to. You have broken the hearts of your girls now. Oh, you console them. Yeah, so they're not schools that should prepare for us yeah. because we are coming. And this year, we are defending the trophy. And they promise to beat in the school that comes across them. For Joy News, Michael Ashali. And that's it for the bulletin in our top story. Parliament's Education Committee considers inviting the National Teachers Teaching Council and other stakeholders to probe the mass failures in the Ghana teacher licensure examinations. I'm Amir Sinyamiche Thompson. Business is next on the Super Morning Show.